Hello, I'm John Torless, I'm from Natural England, and we're here today at Woodwalton Fen with a number of uh, my colleagues from the team having a, a good discussion about what's been going on on this reserve and the next to our home fen, and in fact the whole Great Fen project altogether. We're on the banks here of Woodwalton Fen National Nature Reserve, looking out here across towards Home Fen in the distance. That's the uh, a big long length of woodland and actually this is telling us a story really of the Great Fen. Here we are on the bank here with Wood Walton behind us, a reserve which has really suffered tremendously over the last few decades from um, loads of flood water being stored in the winter months causing really the steady reduction in the quality of this reserve and really Behind me here, this would have been a sea of arable land about sort of five years ago. And now we're starting to connect up this land here with Home Fen through the Great Fen project and convert some of this land back down to wetland and to pasture. And that's going to be great for this reserve. That will help us find different places to store the flood waters, which are currently on Wood Walton. It will help us keep Home Fen National Nature Reserve wet and really help recover some of the Fenland and bog communities on that reserve. And it's a great ambitious project and a great vision behind it. And Natural England have been really at the heart of that from its very early days some um, 15 years ago when the idea was first put together by the then English Nature working with the Wildlife Trust and EA. And uh, that partnership has achieved an enormous amount in that first 15 years, from having a big vision for 14 square miles of habitat creation. We bought substantial areas, a lot of it with the help of external funds, a lottery and other grantees. And a lot of that land has now been put down to, as we see here, semi-natural habitat, and we're starting to get a lot of the those species which would be so sort of um, symptomatic of good quality wetland, the cranes, snipe, a lot of raptors now using these, these lands. So it's a great story and over time it will see us helping to get these reserves much better connected and much better known. We've got Peterborough about five miles away to the north, lots of growth around Peterborough, we've got Huntington similarly about five to ten miles to the south there, lots of growth there and this place and the Great Fen is going to be really important as part of those new green spaces for people to come and enjoy, experience the wildlife and, and the fantastic nature in these places. And for Natural England, you know, just being part of this really important, ambitious um, ecological restoration project is absolutely what we should be about. And, um, and it's all going so well. Thank you. Well, hello, my name's John Kerr. I'm the new reserve warden here at Wood Orton Fen. And behind you, you can see some of the ways we manage the side. You can see what we've been doing is cutting and collecting the, the fen, the meadow and the reed. And you can see the uncut section and the new cut section it gives you some idea of how it's staggered so you get different levels of habitat, different levels of vegetation and target different species and different animals. It's all done by tractor mechanical where it's cut, gathered, collected and got off site. This was done a couple of weeks ago by myself. Um, this magic technique's done all over the site. Some bits are done every year, some bits are done every two years, and some bits are done every three years. So we've always got a staggered level of vegetation. Okay, so Craig. It was about 10 years ago I got involved in the land over here. We helped to actually buy Darlow's farm. We've given a lot of money by government. And I'm just really interested to know kind of what's happened since. We obviously bought Darlow's, but what's been happening to that land and what sort of changes have taken place over the last 10 years? Well, John, since uh, the land was purchased, mm. there's been a lot of restoration actually on the site. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of control of weeds and thistles, yeah. and there's been some seeding of grass. Okay. And since then, we've had a lot of grazing actually on site. Okay. What sort of uh, what sort of wildlife has started to come back? What are you seeing in terms of change? Badgers, owls, yeah. some long-eared owls, 
know that the marsh harriers from the actual site that hunt over it uh, okay. there's a lot of foxes and we do have a quite good population of chinese water deer on wood walton fen okay and what about wildfowl we're we getting any wildfowl back i remember yeah. seeing being up here about a year ago and there's some cranes prospecting out there the what? cranes come and go sometimes mm. they come on site and mm. sometimes they just spend time out here during the winter yeah um, we get the number of wildfowl mm. um, we'd like to do more and hopefully yeah. it'll come as the site gets more and more wetter so what's happening around? What are the next plans here? Are you steadily raising water levels? Or? Yes. What we'll continue to do is use the graziers, the local graziers in the area, mm. and work with the great fen to carry on the grazing on site. Yeah. And then we will start to slowly manage the uh, water levels so that we're providing a valuable habitat for the waders to come in winter. Right. Um, but we also have uh, breeding birds during the uh, summer, mm. uh, small passerines um, and um, other hunting birds from the actual wood want fen. Okay, and and this is all arable. It you was know, yes. Fifteen years ago. So where have all you know who who are these? Who's grazing this land now? Where have all these folk come from? Because there was never any stock in this sort <laughs> part of the world. So where, where have they all well, where have you gotten from? Well, a lot of our local graziers. We've had a number of different ones. Some have come, some have gone. Yeah. Um, but we're hoping to you lose a very local grazier. Was hoping to start up a larger herd of sheep and cattle. And he's right. hoping to use up more hardy breeds. And he's hoping uh, to to graze Darlows and the farm behind us, okay. Middle Farm. That, and this is all part of the Great Fen, yeah? It is, yes. The idea was, oh, there's a deer now. Oh, yeah, there's a deer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On cue. <laughs> yeah, just, the idea was this farm was bought to link Wood Walton and Home Fen, and yeah. you can see in the distance. Yeah. And that was the first part, and then since then the Great Fen has grown a, a lot in the area. House. It encompasses a lot of home fen on the other side and Lincoln, Wood Walton and, and natural home. It's a fantastic progress in that yes. 15 years. It isn't. Yeah.